What is going on YouTube? Back with another episode of Draft Champions. Decided to put up a gameplay earlier than I wanted to because of the problem that happened last time with the whole taking down the video and putting it back up. I felt like I owe you guys something. So if you did miss the draft, the link will be in the description or there'll be an annotation video. Basically, here's my team. Real proud of my defense, including my secondary. My secondary is pretty OP. Very, very overpowered. But when we look at who my opponent has, Tory Holt, we passed up on Tory Holt in the final round and got Ty Law. What a matchup at wide receiver and cornerback. And then I started thinking to myself, since I passed up on Tory Holt, would this be the game that he gets his revenge for me passing him up? Mm, nah, I don't think so. Playing home, first and ten, handing it to the most fearless like Garrett Blunt, getting a few yards. The very next play, I'm decide, I'm trying to establish the run. So that's two straight plays to the most fearless like Garrett Blunt. And on a third and four, just running a regular stick play, my man is wide open, but he decides not to go to work. I guess he decides not to do his job. Just completely flats out, throw, like drops the pass, like completely drops it. But on first and ten, my opponent's playing aggressive. And I know this play very well. He threw it straight into my user picks. But since Halloween is right around the corner, you know what that means. Christmas is right around the corner. And I decided to give my opponent the easiest gift he could get. And I decided to give that interception right back. And I threw an interception myself. Poor, poor, poor pass. That was just a horrible throw by me. I'm sitting here thinking that I could make the throw when I when I knew that I shouldn't. And the very next play, my opponent capitalizes. Amazing, amazing play. Stood there, decided to take the hit, took time in the pocket, and found this man wide open. So I'm here finding myself down by seven points. But at this moment, I would just like start throwing it deep down the field. But I didn't. I was I decided to play smart. I decided to go to my number one, probably the best player on the field right now, LeGarrette Blunt. Decided to go to him because I just know how hard it is to bring LeGarrette Blunt down. Right there, just throwing it off to Luke Wilson. And on the second and one, peep this play out. Second and one. I'm sitting here thinking LeGarrette Blunt is stuffed. I thought he was going to go down right there, but he doesn't. Here I'm thinking he's about to go down again, but he still stays up and gets brought down at the 21-yard line. An amazing run play by LeGarrette Blunt. Great individual effort. First and 10, the very next play, trying to drop back, trying to find somebody. I can't find anybody. I guess my opponent was running QB contained, but on a second and 16, firing it to Slater, who gets brought down at the three-yard line. And on a second and goal, why not just punch it in with LeGarrette Blunt, who somehow, someway, finds his way into the end zone, ties up the game at 7-7. So my opponent gets the ball back, and on the second and seven, he's looking to put points on the board, try to regain back the lead. Finds his man, but cannot hold on to the pass. Third and seven, finds his man doing a drag route in the middle of the field for a little bit of yards. And on the fourth and four, he's running a no huddle, that hurry up offense. Trying to figure out what he's trying to do. I can't, I'm not in my opponent's head. I don't know where he wants to go, but I knew that he was going to get the first down anyways. And he's trying to, he's trying to run no huddle again because he thinks it, like, since it worked the first time, it'll work the second time. But I kind of saw where he wants to go. And I, like, immediately undercut the route, get that user pick, and nobody is catching me. I thought the quarterback was going to catch me, and I thought I was going to run out of bounds, but I didn't. I didn't. I dove into the end zone. And I took the lead. Now the game is 14-7. to Now all the pressure is on my opponent as all the momentum swung my way. And he's trying to go deep. But nothing is working. I'm on pass commit all day, every day. We bring him down to the backfield. And now it is a 4th and 20. 4th and 20 for my opponent. The savageness. This savageness is real. Stepping back, trying to find this man. 
but that is Rashad Jones who jumps the route. And after that play, my opponent became super, super salty as we're going to hit the pause button. And we're going to wait a while. Your peer has quit the game. Just a quick upload to apologize for what happened yesterday. But if you enjoyed the video, give the video a like. And also, subscribe to the channel. I'm out of here.